So I've got a disappearing knot on my hook. I'm going to do six chain one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go into the back of my very first stitch, put my hook in there, I'm going to hook, pull through both of them. So now I have a loop. Yeah, I'm going to lay my loop, my thread on there and do chain of three, one, two, three. And now I'm going to do 15 triple crochets into the center. So that's one, two, three. Five. I'm leaving my tail over the chain as I go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Bring that back. Ten. Oops. 11, 12, 13, 14, oops, 15, yeah? So I've crocheted, I've got a chain of three here, one, two, three, and then I've done 15 trebles into the center over this. Now if I pull this, it'll pull that gap closed. And what I want to do is out of the three chains I've got, I want to do a slip stitch into the first, into the top one, into the third one. So slip stitch and I join that together and then I have a beautiful starting. So all up, including my chain of three, I've got 16 all the way around. So that's row one. So. For row two, we're going to do a chain of three, one, two, three. And I'm going to do two triples into the same spot. Yeah, so that will be this spot right here where it's coming out of. Or just, just after it actually, because it's a chain. One, two. So I've kind of got them coming out of the same spot. Now I'm going to chain two. One, two. I'm going to miss this triple and I'm going to go into the next one with a triple. So see, I've chained two here, I've missed that one and I've gone into the, with a triple here. So now I'm going to chain another two, one, two. I'm going to miss this triple here and I'm going to go into the next triple with another triple. Yeah? chain two, miss one, triple, miss one, chain two, into the next one. Now I'm going to do three into this hole here. So I've got one triple there, another triple, and then another triple into the same spot. Yeah, I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to miss this triple here and I'm going to go into the next triple, this one here, with a triple triple into a triple. Yeah? So I've chained two, I've missed that one, I put a triple here. I'm going to do the same thing again. Chain two. I'm going to miss this triple here and I'm going to come into the next one here, this one. With a triple. With actually three triples because it's going to be your corner. One, two, three. Yeah? So now I'm going to chain two, chain two, one, two, miss this triple and I'm going to come into this next triple here with a triple, triple with a triple. Chain two, one, two, miss a triple, three into this next one because this is a corner. One, two, three, yeah? Got in the feel of it. All right, so chain two, one, two. Miss a triple, triple into a triple. Triple into the second triple. 
chain two, oops, one, two, and now I'm going to go into the th slip stitch because I want to join this up, one, two, three, into the top of my chain of three, so the third of the chain of three. Get into both of those little bits. Let's see, a bit tricky to do these sometimes. There we go, so I've got both of the little bits on my hook. The little bits, I mean the stitch coming through there, coming through there. So as you can see here, oops, hang on, got three in the corners, miss one, triple, miss one, three in the corner, miss one, triple, miss one, three in the corner, miss one, triple, miss one, three in the corner. All right, so that's round two. So let's go for round three. We're going to start again with three chains that will get us up high. One, two, three. Yeah? Now, I've actually got three stitches here. One, two, three. So I've chained above that first one. Above the middle of your three, I'm going to do five into the top of that. Five triples into a triple. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I've got five into the first triple here. I've got one into the first triple here. I've got five into the middle triple. That's my corner. Now I'm going to put one triple on its own into the next triple. So what I've got is I've got one, five, one into one, five into the next one, one into the next one. Chain two. And now I'm going to go into this, this one here, the middle one. So I'm going to miss that chain. I'm just going to go into the triple with a triple, triple with a triple. Yeah, chain two. Now out of my three on my corner, I'm going to go one into the first triple. Five into the second triple. One. Two. Oops, hang on a minute. Something didn't look right there. Let's unpick that one. Okay, let's start. So I'm in my second triple, in my middle triple again, I'm doing five in there. So I've got one, two, three, oops, four, five. Yep, so I've got one into the first triple, five into the middle triple, and then to the last triple I'm going to do one triple into a triple. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and now I'm going to do a triple into the triple that was in the middle. Yeah, so triple into the triple. And chain two again, one, two, and now I'm going to do a triple into the first of the three triple on the corner. Now into the middle triple of the three of the corner, I'm going to do five triples. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one into the first triple, five into the second triple, one into the last triple. Now, see where I'm at? So now I'm going to chain two to get me to here. I'm going to do a triple here, chain two to get me over to the next corner. So Chain of two, one, two, triple into the middle triple. Chain two, and I'm over into my corner. So in the first of the three, I'm going to do one triple. Into the middle three, I'm going to do five triple, and into the other one, I'm going to, and into the last triple, I'm going to do one triple. So one triple into the first triple. Five triples into the corner, the middle, triple, two, three, four, oops, five, 
five and then into the last triple I'm going to do one triple. So there's my new corner. Chain two, one, two, and I'm going to triple into the middle triple. Chain two, one, two, and I'm back to where I started, so I'm going to find the, the top of the three chains that I did. So the three chains I did at the beginning, so one, two, three, I'm going to go into the top and slip stitch into the top to join and finish the round off. There we go. Oops. Tricky to get into these tops sometimes. There we go. So that's our round three. So we're pretty much going to keep coming like this. So I'm going to start again with a chain of three. Chain of three will one, two, three. I'm going to do one triple into the next two. So triple into the next triple and then a triple into the next triple. This should bring me to the center of my corner. Yeah, so remember we had five, one, two, three, four, five in the middle. So I've got, I'm now going to go into, out of those five, I'm going to go into the third one, the middle of the five. Yeah, and I'm going to do five in there. It's my corner. One, two, three. four, five. Now I've got three triples left. One, two, three. So I'm going to do one into each triple. So one into the next triple. That's one. One into the next triple. Two. And another triple into a triple. And that'll bring me to my edge. Yeah? Where I've got my gap. So I'm going to, oops, just pick up that fray yarn. Let's see. So I'm going to do a chain of two because I'm with my gap now. So one, two, triple into the middle triple. Chain of two, one, two. And now I'm going to do one triple into the next one, one triple. So I'm going to do three triples into the next three triple stitches, which will get me to my corner. So one into the next triple, one into the triple after that. Yep, so I'm coming in after that one. And then one more triple into the next stitch. Yeah, and now I'm at my corner, so I'm gonna do five triples into that corner one, right in the middle of your five that you did before. So it's the third is in the middle of the five. And now I've got three triples. So I've got three triples into each of the next three triples. So one triple there into one, one triple into the next one, and then one triple into the next one. That gets me back to my gap. So I'm going to do chain of two here. One, two, I'm going to do triple into this center triple. Now one, two again, one, two, because that brings me to the edge. I'm going to do triple into this what, triple that's on the edge and then triple into the next triple. And do one, a triple into each of the next one triples until I get to my corner. So that'll be, so see that's three triples. One, two, three, now I'm at my corner. So I'm going to do five triples here. Let's get some more. One, two, three, four, five. Now, just getting some more. 
Now I've got one, two, three triples, I'm going to do one into each of them. So one triple into the next, one, one, brings me up to my edge again. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to do one triple into this center triple here. Yeah? Chain two. Now I'm going to do a triple into this next one and then the next one and the next one to get me up to my corner again. So I've got three single triples into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And now I'm at my corner so I'm going to do five triples into my corner. One, two, three, four, five. Just to get a whole heap of wool, hang on. All right. So now I've got three triples left, one, two, three, I'm going to do one into each of them. So one into the next triple, oops, one triple into the next triple, one triple into the one after that, and then one triple into the one after that. And chain two, one, two, and then I'm going to come into that center triple there. Chain two, one, two, and I'm back where I started. So I'm going to find the third chain at the top there, and I'm going to do a slip stitch into that. So that's one, two, three. It's a very small one. Let's poke our crochet hook in. Slip stitch into the top. Yeah? So you can see how we've gone so far. So we're going to keep going in this fashion. Until we have seven rounds. So we're at round four, yeah? One, two, three, four. So we want seven rounds. So one, two, three, chain three to start. Now I'm going to do one treble into the next one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five single trebles. Let's do this. Hang on. No. Nope. One treble into the next four. So I'm going to go. There we go. One. Two. Oh, let's do a treble there, not a double. Three, four. So because we've got our chain, it's it makes five, but it's actually you've got a chain of three up, then you've got one, two, three, four stitches should bring you to your corner. And then in your corner, you guessed it, you're going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you should have five trebles. One, two, three, four, five trebles to get you to your gap here. So we're going to do one treble in each. One, two, three, four, five, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, gets me up to my edge, and do a chain of two, one, two, and then a treble into the center treble. Yep. 
Yep. Now chain of two again. One, two. And I'm going to find the first treble here. And I'm going to go into that one. And then I want to go into the next one. I want to go into the next five. Each treble with one treble. So I've done one into two. That's one into three. One into four. One into five. So I've got one, two, three, four, five treble. And I'm at my corner now. So in my corner here, I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I've got five. So here I've got five trebles. One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five to get to my gap here. So I'm going to do one into each of these to get to my gap. So I should have five trebles. One, two, three, Five. Yeah, so I'm going to do a chain of two now. One, two, and I'm going to do <laughs> one treble into the treble here. <laughs> yep, so now I'm going to do a chain of two again. One, two, and then into this part over here on the other side. I'm going to do one into each of the next five treble stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so I'm at my corner now. So I've done five single trebles, one into each treble, and I'm going to do five trebles into this corner stitch now. One, two, three, four, five. So now I've got five trebles left, so I'm going to go one into each of them until I get to my gap. Yeah? Now see I've stopped, so you've got to work in with your stitch. Are you going on this side of your stitch or this? I come in just behind my stitches, so I'll stop just behind that treble, yeah? Chain of two, and then I'm going to do um, a treble in the middle treble. Chain of two, that gets me back over to this spot here. And remember, I go just behind. So I go just behind into that gap there. See that? That's where I go. Okay, so that's one into one. One into two. One into three. One into four. One into five. Brings me to my corner. Five in my corner.
five and I should now have five stitches here, five trebles left to get back to my gap. So one in each, one in one, one treble in that one, one treble in the next one, one treble in the third one, one treble in the fourth one, one treble in the fifth. Yeah, so now I'm back to my gap. So I'm going to do a chain of two. One, two, treble into the treble. Yeah, and now chain two. One, two. And now I'm going to find my third chain. One, two, three, and do a slip stitch into the top. So go over both, hook, pull through all, both of them. Yep. So that's our fifth round. Let's try our sixth round, shall we? Okay, so chain of three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to do one treble into each of the next six. So that's one, two, three. four, five, six. Yeah, now that brings me up to my corner. So six with that chain of three will be seven. So you're going to do your corner and have seven triples on either side. So if I come into my corner with five, five into my one corner, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so now I should have seven stitches, should be seven triples that will get me up to my lacy part. Yeah, so now you need to make sure you have seven in each, otherwise if you don't, you won't get a square. So let's see if I've got seven. One there, two there, triple into each, three, four, five, oops, six, seven. Yep, it's got me back up to there. So chain of two. One, two, and now I'm going to do a triple into my triple. One, two, oops, and then we've got seven triples here. So here I am, I've done my chain of two. I'm going to come into this triple here next, and then I should have seven triples along here to get me to my corner. So let's see, and I come in just behind my stitch. Yeah, in that gap there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yep, gets me to my corner. So five into my corner. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, turn to the corner. Now you should have seven triples along here up until here. So let's see. One, triple into each triple, two, three, four, let's get some more, 
five, six, seven. Leads me right up the garden path. Yep, ready to do the two here. So chain two and then one triple into here. Oops. Chain two, one, two, and then I should have seven. I'm going to go into this triple here next, here. And then I should have seven triples up to that edge. One, two, three, four, five, just need some more. Six, seven, leads me to my corner. Yep, so five triples into my corner. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, so I should have seven triples now. See what I've done? So, I should have seven triples to here. Chain of two, one triple. Chain of two, one triple. Seven triples, corner of five. Seven triples, chain two, one triple. Chain two, join. Yep. Okay, double check along the way and just count and make sure you've got the right number. Keeping it square. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, great, ready to go, chain of two, triple into a triple, One, two, and then I should have seven triples up until my corner. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops. Seven. And I'm up to my corner. Great. Five into my corner. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, and your corners should line up. Can you see there's this beautiful lining up of your corners? Let me show you here. See? See how they, can you see how they line up? That's how you know you've got it even on both sides. Okay, so I should now have seven up to here. Let's check. There's seven triples into one. So one triple into that one. One triple into the second, one triple into the third, one triple into the fourth, one triple into the fifth, one triple into the sixth, one triple into the seventh. Yep, right back. So I'm going to do chain of two, a triple, chain of two, join to the top of the third. One two, triple into a triple, there's the gap there, yep, 
chain of two, one, two. So now I'm going to join into the third of the chain, one, two, three. With a slip stitch. Okay. So you can see where we're at there. Now what we're going to do is we're actually just going to, we're going to chain three and then we're going to do one triple into every triple. When we get to the corner, we're going to do two triples, one chain, two triples, and then we're going to do one triple all the way along. When we come to these gaps here, we're going to do three triples in that gap. Yeah? So we're going to just, we're going to do a row of triple all the way around just to kind of enclose it in. So I'll talk you through it. First thing we're going to do is chain three to get up to a triple. And we're going to work one triple into each of the next two triples until we come to the corner. So that should be nine. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, it's eight because I've got that row of triples that row of three chain that I started with, haven't I? So it was eight in that first one, but now I'm in my corner. So now I'm in my corner, I'm going to do two triples into that corner stitch. I'm going to do one chain and then do another two triples in there. So it's not five triples like we did before. Yeah. So I've kind of turned the corner in this way. See it looks slightly different from what we had before. We've got that little hole there. Okay, so now what we're going to have, we're going to have nine triples here, right up until this gap. So let's do that. One, get some more. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, yeah, so I'm up to my gap. Now I'm not going to do a chain of two. What I'm going to do is do two triples into this gap here. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to go in like this. So one triple into that gap, and then I'll put another triple into that gap. Yep, now I'm going to go into the hole here of the next triple, of that centre triple. And then once again I'm at the gap here, so I'm going to do two triples into the gap. Like this. One, two triples into the gap. Yeah, so we've crocheted over the top of the gaps. Can you see that? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet all the way to the corner, one triple into each triple. Should be um, nine, and I've got one. Oh, yep, so I've got my first one here. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine, leads me up to my corner. So I've got two in there, then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, leads me into my corner actually. I think I'm just one short of my corner. Nope, right on my corner. The maths works out, then it should be right. One, two, two chains into the same spot, two triples into the same spot, one chain, and then another two triples into the same corner spot. One, two. Okay, so we should have nine triples now back to the hole. Let's see if we've got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, beautiful, nine, so I've done nine triples up to the edge, we're going to do two triples into the gap, one, two triples, now I want one triple into this center point, yep, you can see the hole there waiting for it, there we go, triple into the center triple and now two triples into the next hole yeah <laughs> one another one into there two now should have nine triples up to the corner let's see one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. So I'm up to my corner. Yep. So I'm going to do chain of two, two triples. Oh, that's a quadruple, what happened there? Let's try that one again. One triple, two triples into the corner. Yep. Chain of two, one, oh no, chain of one, and then two triples. One, two. Yep, so I've turned the corner there. So now I'm going to do nine triples up to the gap here. Let's see if we got them. One, two, three, Four. Oops. Five. Was that four? One. That was five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, perfect, great. Okay, so back is going to do two into my gap, two triples. One, two triples into the gap, one into the triple in the middle. Two triples into the gap. Mm. 
Now I've got five triples to get me up to the corner. I mean nine triples to get me up to the corner. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last corner. Two triples, one chain, two triples. One triple, two triples, one chain, two triples. One, two. Okay, so come around the corner. We're on the home stretch now. So nine triples to the middle, two triples into the gap, one triple, two triples into the gap, and we should meet up pretty perfectly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect, two into the gap, one, two, one into the center, and then two into the gap, one, two, all right, now we've got to find the top of those that chain of three, one, two, three, and we're going to do slip stitch into the top. Okay, and that is our lacy cross. Enjoy.